Who do you think you are, Panda? Who do you think I am, Peacock? I have portrayed a panda to great success, so it was time to finally come face to face with the real thing. There was a tremendous amount of research done on this film. A number of things that you'll see in Kung Fu Panda 2 were inspired directly by our trip to China. A lot of this movie is based on Poe as a baby. We actually got to meet and pet some pandas in a preserve in China, which was awesome. There was a bassinet filled with teeny baby pandas. I don't think anybody can look at a panda baby and go, that's not cute. It's very cute. If I could have snuck one out of my jacket, I would have. Did you see that? I just was like, what? Hi! The animator said, hey, let's put this in there. It's like, wow, you know, can we, how much of this can we get in? They were constantly pulling out their sketch pads or taking photographs. That's really the trick, is to put as much of that on screen as you possibly can. Oh, I should use that. <laughs> oh, I have received a message. From the universe? From a messenger. Oh, yeah, of course. Earlier this year, a panda was born at the Atlanta Zoo. Jack was there for the naming of the panda. Oh! I have a bond with this animal. There are not that many baby pandas born, and so to have one named after our panda is a huge honor. It's one of my proudest moments. It really does show that we've studied these pandas, their movement and everything. It makes it more intimate. You can really see the character, you can see the expression, you can see the emotion. I guess that's, that's the magic.